Chic, and I'm here to show you the Looper, the Boss RC505 tabletop loop station. And I want to give you a loop lesson that's a little bit more advanced and um, that just shows you how this loop station can take you from being a basic looper where people are just watching you loop to somebody that blows people's minds, and this station can do that. So um, I'll show you a little trick that not every loop station can do, um, but that makes a big difference. You can have tracks that are different lengths, and that really changes the game for loopers uh, like myself. So let me show you how to do that. Um, now each of these tracks can be edited individually, and you can save each all, all the parameters that you set on its own patch and name the patch. So if you want to name the song right here, it's ready to go as you're performing. So I'm going to edit track one by hitting the edit button. And I'm going to scroll through until I see the track length. Now, it says measure, so classical terms here. So the measure right now is set on auto. That means if I set this one to be four measures long, they're all going to be four measures long, which is cool because all I have to do is hit play, and then I can sing. I don't have to think about hitting buttons. I can just sing, and it's going to automatically start looping after four measures because it's set on that first time through. But I want some diversity and some change, so I'm going to change this to free. That means this could be two beats long, it could be eight measures long, it could be 24 measures long, it could be three hours long, because that's how much time you have on this unit. And I'm going to change them all to free, so I'm going to edit track two, measure, free. Add it track three, measure, free, and it's nice that it just holds what you're, uh, what you're changing as you go down the tracks. At a track four, free. At a track five, free. I'm going to save that by hitting right. OK. Now, I can set these to be any length I want. For example, now I don't have to create a beat that's 16 bars long just so I can have a nice long bass line. For example, here we go. As I'm just setting down the kind of the hi hats, oh, actually, the, the bass beat, um, you don't have to watch me do that, <sighs> thankfully, for 16 beats. I can just lay it down to four, and it automatically loops. So that means your audience, your people aren't watching you loop and starting to get bored. You can keep that wow factor all the way through your arrangement of your song. I hope this helps you with your, your looping and um, your creativity. I really use this as an instrument. I think you could too. And it's a whole lot of fun. So thanks for watching. If you have more questions, please check out fullcompass.com or contact your Full Compass sales associate. Thanks for watching. My name is Angela Sheik. Ladybug. 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 Ooh, 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 